Hey, what's up, everybody? I am back with another video, and here's Snake. Oh man, I'm so excited about Snake. Snake is like one of the characters I've been looking for the most. Uh, he's a character that I've been playing for a long, for a long, long time, and I've been waiting for him. Well, now here's my analysis on him. It's it's more of a breakdown. I did give some frame data, so it's gonna pop up in a second, and. I just want to say that uh, everything that I do is just kind of roughly what I see and once we get everything uh, everything settled where I'm going to be able to tell you guys roughly what I've seen and a lot of his, his moves like forward throw and back throw do have some combo potential but uh, because they set into tech changes at early percentage but down throw and up throw seem much 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 better. Uh, just because of the the things that we've seen so far uh, like coming into aerials or uh, up tilt or, or, or stuff like that but usually uh, usually you're gonna that's those are gonna be your go-to tools unless you, you just care about stage control that's gonna be more um, more important there's there's a little a couple little things that uh, I want to talk about first uh, so that um, now that we got his moveset kind of out of the way you can you're gonna see some stuff on the screen here. Uh, forward throw right there. We can see that combo potential on uh, tech chase. Uh, here we have back throw also combo potential. He could, if he had a mind there uh, or a C4, I mean, he would have been able to get something out of it. Here, what do we have here? Oh, yes, yes, beautiful dash attack across the shield. Very laggy, but still, uh, it's something that I'm going to talk about in the future. Uh, how Dash attack and, and cross up shielding is very important. Up tilt sets so up take chases at low percentages. Uh, I think upper does the, uh, up throw does as well, so that's gonna be very very important. And um, oh, his um, for his neutral, you're gonna rely a lot on grenade. So grenade is, is gonna be like very important. And you can see that if they use moves that are have like uh, the, like grab, they grab you out of that because that's gonna be basically your main tool. If they grab you out of basically you using uh, your shield. Which won't be as strong, uh, which I'll explain right now. Uh, they, if they don't use the proper moves, like uh, like proper uh, throws, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna that's gonna happen. They're gonna get stuck like Bowser. If you can see here, also his cipher very very vulnerable at low percentages, where which I'll talk about r right now as well. So you you can, all these little things that I'm showing you, uh, just 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 look at them, and you're gonna if if you don't understand what you're seeing, uh, I'll explain as we go anyway. Yeah, so. Snake, Here is, here's a video of Snake playing in a flat stage. So, first of all, like I said, grenades are uh, very important in his, in his uh, neutral. Uh, before, it was uh, all grenade uh, grenade run-up shield, but shield's kind of a weaker thing. So, if you were to hit him with moves that have high high hit stun uh, and shield, shield damage and while he's holding his grenade, it could be very uh, detrimental for him. So he's gonna do better against like characters that have to go in that don't have disjoints like brawlers and stuff like that. So swords, uh, fast characters that can uh, affect his shield because he has a poor out of shield game as well. Like he has his up smash, but like he doesn't have anything else uh, that is very uh, very good. Because the only thing I could see him do is maybe turn around, turn around up tilt, and that's still slow. He has downer, which is really really fast. But it still doesn't cover greatly if you cross them up because there's still some moves that do cross up, which is very important in, in the game now because now you can't run through people and claim middle stage for free. You're you're back to the corner. If you jump in there, you're gonna be very very um in a very bad spot, very vulnerable, and you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to get that out of that for free. So Snake uh, benefits that from that like a lot. Uh, here you can see that. Because of his weight and aerial speed, he gets juggled mad. He gets mad juggled. And the, the cloud just messed up barely, barely by a hair. So it's gonna, it's not, <laughs> that's one of his weaknesses that he has. His, his weight and aerial speed is not very good. So he just has no disjoints. As you can see, you, you have to mix up your landing with explosives gren like grenade and C4. Like by, so here in tri Triplats, I think you do good against... A, a lot of characters, maybe not exactly swordsmen, just because they have disjoints. But the only way I could see it is that they could, that he lets lets recovers high, lets uh, C4 fall onto the platform where he wants to land, and he, he kind of forces them to get get onto that platform. So he could also land with the the grenade. Now I want to show you how you got, how Zero plays this matchup. He doesn't let he doesn't let the snake player 
set up because that's the most important part in, in, in with snake he he needs to set up explosives because his explosive basically take time for them to pull out and time to throw it out and but once he does that snake has huge state control look look at that he because he has time to set up he pokes he, the, the thing is he pokes from from a distance and he's able to get so much damage with it safely without having to commit but once he gets caught this is what starts happening to him he gets, starts getting bodied especially because he's really weak off the level he does have nothing and he's out of shield game barely he barely taps him with that and that that's only because he whiffed the grab and he was next on the on that platform stuck so he's he steps up he covers the ground stage control he safely posts with grenades so mk is doing very beautifully there um i don't know if c4 has a timer i've been trying to check but it, i'm not going to be able to tell till i i have the game in my hands up tilt still very strong which uh Keep, keep that in mind uh, that about up tilt and which I'll talk about uh, some of his other moves as, as well that he has so he keeps doing that he, he keeps trying to space them out run up shield uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna be as effective boom something right there that I want to mention is that snake is not really good at burst range that's why swordsmen do very well but characters that are bur at a burst range are gonna do fairly well against snake because Snake has snake's not fast. Snake doesn't have no tools, and by the time he pulls a grenade or tries to do an at attack, he's gonna he's gonna be a uh, he's gonna take a lot of damage. But look at this, he gets them out of cipher at such an early percentage, and that's still it's so weak. Imagine so if you're like recovering high, you could hit him with a really high move, and if you're recovering low, you could hit his cipher and kill him very early, or just keep, hit him hit him. For free on uh, that animation for just for damage and then just kill him off later so you could just it's just like you're playing duck hunt it's like a recovery of duck hunt mega man because he could act out of it and yoshi super armor oh and villager because he the more he uses the less time he has it so that that's very important here look, look at look at how much the, the damage difference leo has leo has a huge damage difference and boom just like that the same the same way he tries to recover high he gets him out of his cypher uh, so he should have let down here like he lets down a c4 and and immediately zero kind of respects it because he doesn't want to get in that that airspace uh here's just a mess up from both of them well leo had to do that if not he was gonna die anyways because he tried to he tried to be late he should have tried to be a little er er a little earlier that way uh he would just snap onto ledge because or he could just, uh, since you can't act out of Cypher, you could just um, let go Cypher, and before you fall, and since he has to respect that that, that little area, you could air dodge, air dodge into the stage, it, it mix up a couple things, so it's it, it's pretty good. Now, I'm going back to the cloud. Uh, this is uh, the beginning, and how he immediately immediately pulls out grenades, and he takes he basically takes 26. Okay, jab very good up close and t t sets up tech chases. Dash attack is really good. It's like fast, and it's like has a huge amount of range. But it, it's like very laggy because he has to go into that crouch position. So that's not that's like a no no. So again, then you hit uh, snakes. Uh, you want to get close at burst range or like you hit his shield. He there's not much he can do unless he has a grenade. That way he could ju jump, jump and throw it back at you, or just let go of shield, throw it back at you. So oh, that's gonna that's gonna be very important that his out of shield game is not very good. And if he tries to use grenade all the time and shield is, uh, you could really set that up uh, for uh, some shield breaks or maybe, maybe just keep pressuring them like that and scare them to like not shield as much, and or just set up for grabs a lot. Set up for like quick grabs, not gra not like grabs that have like a lot of moves like Meta Knight. So he does a uh, the feet thing, the ta 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 ta. Like that's uh, that's gonna be very important. So something that I want to mention that was kind of holding off till the end. If you notice. Snake kills a lot vertically, like most of his kills are vertically because C4 sends up and you have a lot of moves that send up like up smash, up tilt, up throw, down tilt, <laughs> so it's like up air, so a lot of moves do that. So I can see, what I can see is that if you were able to plant a C4 on him, do an up throw, like a, I don't know, like high percentages, I don't, I don't know yet, we need to lob that out because what I've seen is... C4 has killed like characters super early like well not super early. I've seen Bowser get killed like at 119 and that's pretty good so um, 129 I don't remember exactly but I, I've seen I've seen a kill so early at the bottom of the stage basically they're on the stage they're they're touching the ground so I could see that if he were to up throw him at 
like 100%. Uh, if he has a sticky on him, like a C4. And then he's up there. Look, you see how down tilt sent up? If he had a sticky, he would have C4'd him and he would have died. Like, for sure. So, he since he can't go off a level a lot because his arrows are not good. Like, if he, if he uses arrows, he's gonna, it's gonna suck for him. He has to either do them to pressure on shield, like if he's landing. Uh, cover attack attack on a platform or some sort of edge guard. So the char other characters have to be in disadvantage for you to even use your, your aerials because the only chance that you're gonna get is like you just completely know what you're gonna do because they're not very they're not exactly safe on shield. The only things I've seen that are safe on shield or have high seed damage is um oh his downer like a short hop downer and short hop nair is very very good because you could just fall you could like fast fold them with. You can fast fall them with uh, like a side, side tilt, and that's just that's just really 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 good. So you're gonna that that could like really help out your your game. But let me go back to the up throw thing, the C4, because that's gonna be the main thing. If I if you are able to get C4 on somebody, it's like <laughs> it's gonna be so good because you, you have moves like up tilt, which hits so hard, and then you ex and they they send so high like at 90, and then just boom get a get consistent kills with that. And you you have to get that. If, if not, it's not gonna. Well, you don't have to, but what I mean it's like it's gonna be very good if we do stuff like that. Well, everybody, there have been some early thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's so much more for me to say, but I gotta save it for the next one. See you guys later. Adios.